presenting here a study we have been conducting in Portugal related with human behavior and their fire situations. So this presentation will follow the typical outline, a summary, the contribution also um, the contribution of uh, artificial intelligence for human behavior analysis is the process we are undertaking, and some conclusions and further work. Okay, um, everyone knows that um, there has been some work going on for the several years regarding the behavior of people under emergency situations. Um, we have also uh, seen today several phases that are uh, accountable to the evacuation time. Uh, we saw Professor talking about several uh, of those times, but we uh, have here a, a small a simplification, only accounting three distinct phases. And the phase one is it goes uh, from when the fire actually starts until when it is detected. So we have the detection phase. And then we have the second phase that is also known as uh, pre-evacuation time, uh, is the time uh, needed for uh, evacuees or occupants to be aware of the situation and to uh, reason what to do next and uh, actually decide to leave the building. And the last phase is typically the evacuation phase where we have many simulations and many um, models that actually do all the calculations. So the area we are uh, dealing about is that second phase, that pre-movement phase. Um, in Portugal, a few years ago, at the National Laboratory, we had a model that is called MARI, from the Portuguese uh, acronym, uh, meaning uh, Modelo de Análise uh, Risco Incêndio em Edifícios, or Risk of Fire Analysis in Buildings. And that model uh, aims to uh, create a framework or some tool uh, whether we can put all the building model and have several uh, different sub-models. Each one will deal with sp uh, specific uh, features of the fire risk analysis. For instance, the one is related with the fire build with the building uh, geometry and description and so forth. And we have one module devoted for the evacuation. And that's precisely for that model that we are uh, working on this study uh, regarding the pre-movement uh, phase. So the problem here is to understand the occupant's behavior under a fire situation. For that we had uh, conducted a survey and um, the first survey we had uh, was for 235 uh, respondents. Um, in terms of gender, we are more or less uh, adjusted to the Portuguese reality. Uh, in terms of age also, we had a mean, uh, mean average of 35 years. So it is more or less the national average. Um, we also had a number of people who had previous training in fire safety. And even a few have already did some uh, recycling. Amazingly also, and this is due because this uh, survey was conducted to uh, people some related with the university, some related with an area. We had already 50 people that had, had been already uh, under a fire situation. So, uh, the data we get, the responses we get, uh, are obviously in the article that is presented here. Uh, we are, I'm going to refer some of the aspects uh, we, we got. For instance, some of the respondents said that uh, they would have the same behavior whether the emergency situation 
would be into the building they normally use to live or to work, or if they were in a different building or a different scenario, like a shopping center or a transportation place or some different building where they didn't knew previously the exits and the pathways, <coughs> which is quite amazing. Also, <coughs> we notice that uh, although a few of them had uh, previous, uh, previous uh, training, only a few were uh, aware of evacuation pl uh, plan. So most of the people are not aware of the evacuation plan. One of the um, things that created some, uh, what was curious about this was that the panic, uh, the panic question. People asked whether panic would be uh, a real situation under a fire. Most of them uh, said yes. Over 90% of the people said that in a fire or an emergency situation, panic would occur. And in fact, of the 50 uh, respondents that were actually uh, that actually lived uh, uh, one situation like this, 48% of them said that there was some panic. Well, um, now we must define what panic is. Uh, if panic is shouting, is people unaware of uh, what they should do if you go left or right or uh, starting having you know, some emotional uh, problems. Uh, well, this is what we thought about panic. Nevertheless, people are aiming to help others. And a great deal of people said that under an emergency situation, they would try to help others instead of being selfish. And um, not, uh, not funny about this, but uh, the truth is that most women were more helpful, or at least they said they would be more helpful than men, actually. In terms of alert, uh, there were several ways of people to, um, to get aware of the situation. Some uh, refer to smoke, others the unusual movement of occupants, others refer strange noises because uh, Fire also produces some noises. Others refer the alarm system, and a few uh, indeed saw smoke coming from the fire. And just one thing: um, the analysis between the people that actually have been into a fire situation and the others who didn't, the the answers were similar in both situations. Now, regarding the action of people uh, under emergency situations. A few of them said that uh, they wait to be told what to do. 33% uh, 